This video is sponsored by Hook Theory. If a song is in 11 8 time, it means it has 11 eighth notes in each bar of the music. Skirting on the surface by The Smile is in 11 8 time. As is Altered Beast 4 by King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. And the riff and verse of Blockhead by Devo is in 11 8. A place you perhaps wouldn't have expected to find 11.8 would be video game soundtracks. The race results music from Mario Kart 64 is in 11.8 time. Another use of 11.8 in video game music is Sajit's theme from Street Fighter 2, where the fast 11.8 pulse leads to quite a sporadic sounding piece of music. <laughs> 11 by Primus is in 11.8 time. Here the 11 beats of the bar are grouped like this in three groups of three and one group of two. This gives the music a 12-8 shuffle sound, but with the last beat of the bar missing, so like a wonky shuffle sound. This wonky shuffle sound is a common way to use 11-8 time. We can see it here in Tool's song Rosetta Stoned. Tool's song Fear Inoculum is also in 11.8 time. Their song Right in 2 is in 11.8 time. In fact, I would be inclined to call right into an example of 11.4 time, not 11.8. So what is the difference between 11.4 and 11.8? Well, really, any song in 11.8 time could be notated or conceptualised in 11.4, and vice versa. The biggest factor really in choosing one over the other is the tempo. Skirting on the surface by the smile is fast enough that it's actually better notated in 11.8. A way to judge whether a song is fast enough to be 11.8 rather than 11.4 is whether you actually naturally wind up counting 5.5 beats in a bar rather than 11. In other words, you're naturally latching on to a quarter note pulse, but because there's only 11 eighth notes in the bar, you're winding up counting 5.5 quarter notes. So ideally, a song like Skirting on the Surface, I would describe as being in 5.5 time, but because we can't have a 5.5-4 time signature, we instead double both values to get 11.8. Ultimately though, it doesn't really matter which you choose. As I said, 11.4 and 11.8 are ultimately interchangeable, and many musicians will just refer to songs in these meters as being in 11, to keep things simple. A song though that you should probably be quite definite about describing in 11.4 time is Dave Brubeck's track 11.4. Dave Brubeck is famous for popularising the use of odd time signatures in Western music, so naturally he has a track in 11.4. 
11.4 and 11.8 are examples of odd or complex time signatures. A time signature is considered to be odd if the number of beats, i.e. the top number, can't be divided into either 2 or 3. 5.4, 5.8, 7.4 and 7.8 are also examples of odd time signatures. Because the number of beats can't divide equally into 2 or 3, we have this unequal subdivision, giving odd meters a lopsided off-balance sound. If you're interested in music theory, which I'm fairly sure you are, then you'll be interested in hook theory. Hook theory offers various brilliant resources for learning music theory. For example, their website offers a music theory analysis of over 20,000 different songs. They also offer two interactive music theory textbooks where, much like my own videos, they use pop and rock songs to exemplify and explain music theory concepts. On top of this, Hook Theory's Hook Pad is an excellent tool that helps you apply music theory concepts in your own songwriting. As you compose, Hookpad will make suggestions about potential chords or note choices based on the mode or key that you're in. Follow the link in the description to start using Hook Theory today. Sometimes, rather than a whole song being in 11-8 time, or even a whole section, we'll just see a one-off bar of 11-8 thrown in with other time signatures. For example, this metrically unusual section in Here Comes the Sun by the Beatles can be interpreted like this, as a bar of 11-8 followed by a bar of 4-4, a bar of 2-4, and a bar of 3-8. However, personally, I would prefer to see it like this, with the bar of 11-8 broken up into three bars of 3-8 and one bar of 2-8, as it gives the performer more information about which beats to accent during this rhythmically complex passage. Crowned and Kissed by Esperanza Spaulding has a verse section in 4-4 time, but the chorus is based on this 11-4 groove. Crowned and Kissed groups the 11 beats of the 11-4 bar, so they effectively feel like this, one bar of 3-4 and two bars of 4-4. My kisses are your crown and I'm your queen So now lay with me my king I'm here to love you I Just lay your burdens down Don't even make a sound Don't worry about a thing I'm here to love you My kisses are your crown and One of the great things about 11-4 is the various different ways that we can group it. For example, Whipping Post by the Allman Brothers instead groups its beats like this. Three bars of 3-4 and one bar of 2-4 giving it a wonky waltz sort of sound. Awaken by Yes is an 11-4 time, but instead groups the beats like this. Two bars of 4-4 followed by a bar of 3-4. Sometimes it's probably actually better to divide the bar of 11-4 down into these composite time signatures, down into smaller bars. For example, you could consider the chorus of I Say a Little Prayer to be in 11-4 time. But by having such a long bar of music, 11 beats in one bar, it can make it harder for the musician to know where to place the emphasis, where to place the accents. By subdividing the beats down into smaller bars like this, it might result in a messier page, but it gives the player more information about where the emphasis should be placed in this rhythm. I'll leave you today with this piece that I've written in 11-8 time. 